uh, statistics in various scenarios so that means which is statistics to be used in which scenario so that's what I'm I'm going to speak about in this video which test statistics to be used in you know in different different scenarios so that's what I'm going to speak number one you know testing testing of your single mean that means I just want to test one mean uh, one one sample mean okay one sample mean so it what it means is when you want to test when you want to test a sample mean a single sample mean with uh, with the hypothesized value hypothesized value as in hypothesized value mean as in population mean population mean so in this case i am supposed to use t distribution so t distribution test statistics is equal to uh, x bar that is sample so this is sample mean minus mu mu is the hypothesized value that means population mean divided by standard error standard error is equal to standard deviation by root n okay so this is the test statistics that i'm supposed to follow i can even go for z test as well if the number of observations are too large say for example more than 100 or so so in that case i will uh, i will use the same formula but however i will check z test table okay so this this is what i'm supposed to do when i want to check a single mean sample mean with the hypothesized value that is population mean okay then the next scenario uh, let's say i want to test so testing a single variance so I just want to test one variance, okay, one variance, uh, variance with its own, you know, population. So that means this is what single sample variance. This is single sample variance. So I'll write here. When you want to, when you want to test a single sample variance single sample variance with its population variance or hypothesized value population variance okay so this time go for chi-square test chi-square test so chi-square test as in this is how chi-square is written n minus 1 into variance so uh, standard deviation square that is variance divided by uh, here also variance so this is the hypothesized value or this is the population variance population variance and here this is the sample variance sample variance okay so this is how I'm supposed to uh, do the next one third one let's say uh, let's say testing okay testing of variance for two different population for two different population so we have two different populations and we want to test their variance so in that case so in other words this is testing of difference in variance testing of 
difference in variance. Okay, so testing of difference in variance. So in that case, I'm supposed to go for F test. Okay, so F test is equal to again uh, F test is equal to variance by variance. Okay, so variance by variance means uh, this is sample. Uh, uh, you know standard deviation s is sample standard deviation and when i square it it becomes variance so variance i can write here as the bigger one okay bigger variance divided by smaller variance okay this is smaller and this is bigger variance and that's why it will always come as a ratio and it will never be in negative okay because the bigger number is coming in the numerator okay so bigger variance divided by smaller variance that is f test we are supposed to do when we want to check variances of two different population okay then let's say next to one i want to check correlation so testing testing of your correlation okay so correlation is denoted by r so in that case the formula will be i will use t test so t test and here the formula will be r into root of n minus 2 divided by root of 1 minus r square okay Then next one, uh, testing, testing the independence of data, testing the independence of data and this is for categorical data, categorical data, okay. Now, what do you mean by categorical data? Categorical data as in, these are qualitative data. So these are qualitative data, okay. Qualitative data uh, that can be, so qualitative, okay, not quantitative, qualitative data that can be grouped, that can be uh, grouped into categories into it can be grouped into some categories okay so instead of being measured numerically it will be grouped into categories that's why it is called categorical data okay so instead of uh, instead of being measured in uh, numerics it will be grouped into categories so in this case uh, the formula that I'm supposed to use is this is again chi square test is equal to summation of uh, observed data, observed value or observed data minus expected data, expected value or expected data square. Okay, so you are supposed to square it and then take the summation divided by expected value or expected data okay so there is a video also separate video i have made on how to calculate this one independence of data if you want to know you may watch that as well okay then uh, so this is the formula for checking independence of data that means if uh, two set of data are, are are dependent or not so to check that we'll use this formula then next one Testing difference in means. Testing difference in means. Okay, testing difference in means. That means there are two means and I want to check two means and I want to check if uh, they both are equal or not. Okay, 
So testing difference in means. So here I will go for t test. The formula is x1 bar minus x2 bar minus mu1 mu is the hypothesized value minus mu2 divided by root of this is the pooled variance p is for pooled so pooled variance divided by n1 plus pooled variance divided by n2 okay so this is the formula and uh, uh, how do i calculate this uh, uh, pooled variances pooled variance is equal to n1 minus 1 into uh, first sample variance plus n2 minus 1 into second sample variance divided by n1 plus n2 minus 2 this is the formula okay then the next one seventh one is testing uh, testing means of differences see these two are different testing difference in means and means of differences both are different okay so here for two set of data their differences are calculated and then the means of the differences are calculated okay their differences are calculated and then the means of their differences are calculated okay so means of the differences between observations so here what it means is uh, it is also called paired comparison test okay it is also called uh, paired comparison test paired comparison test okay paired comparison test so how uh, or what happens under this paired comparison test is here uh, we are checking uh, so when you want to check when you want to check if if the means of the differences means of the differences between between observations between observations for the two samples are different so even this is your intention you will go for means of differences or paired comparison test and for that the formula is again t test t is equal to this is d bar okay that means differences minus uh, mu this mu differences typically you will expect this mu to be zero okay the differences to be zero okay divided by so standard error uh, standard error of the uh, standard error of the mean difference okay standard error of the mean difference so mean difference i'll write here like this mean difference standard error of the mean difference standard error of mean difference so standard error of mean difference okay standard error of mean difference is equal to standard deviation divided by root n okay and uh, yeah and standard deviation how will i find out standard deviation okay standard deviation uh, standard deviation is equal to this is sample standard deviation so sample 
standard deviation is equal to root of summation of d minus d bar the whole square divided by n minus 1 okay this is sample standard deviation and this is standard error uh, standard error of the mean difference okay standard error of the mean difference fine so this one i have mentioned here standard deviation is also mentioned um, yeah i think yeah that's it okay and yeah d bar d bar is equal to this one d bar is equal to summation of d divided by n okay so i think yeah all these are mentioned over here okay all right that's it then uh, thank you so much uh, for watching the video thanks a lot